Hi guys, it's Gamer Dad back here with another FIFA 22 video, and this is the Man United career mode. And as you can see, start off we have Leicester City first game, which we want to do a quick sim with. Um, basically, so basically in this episode, I want to play the Liverpool game, probably quick sim through all of these games, get into the January transfer window, and uh, see how we can get on. Maybe try and get through to the end of January, really, uh, in this one. But before we get any further into this, if you guys are enjoying the series and you go on to like the episode, please smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell so YouTube let you know and upload these videos. And like I did at the beginning of all of these videos, if you guys um, could check out a few YouTubers that have been helping me out and supporting the channel, uh, the likes of Agent A, FIFA Tactics, Magician, uh, you've got Liam LX, um, J, we got JW Plays. Um, I will leave a link in the description down below for him. Uh, M7G. I will leave a link up the top to his um, channel, so you can check him out. He's got um, a couple of series running. He's just brought, uh, uploaded a Reading one at the moment. And also, if you check out Rich Sports, I'll leave a link down below for him because he um, has two channels: a gaming channel and a football sort of podcast one. So go and check him out. I very much appreciate that. Uh, also, if you guys could check out my merch, leave a link in the description down below. And also, if you could check out the YouTube membership, I um, very much appreciate that as well. Um, I want to start doing some content on there and doing some giveaways. So the first person will get a little gift on me. But with all that, let's get into this first game and see what we can get done. Okay then, let's get into this first game against Leicester City. Gonna go ahead with a quick sim with the first side. Don't expect any major issues here. Should get a win and we're gonna go ahead and get a 2-0 win. Very nice. Bruno keeping up his great form with another goal. And Ch Sancho, which is good to see. Nice 2-0 win. Let's get into the next game. Alright then guys, so here we have now got Liverpool in the next game. Obviously first first second. Gonna go ahead, play this one and see what we can get done. Very nice side as normal, like Van Dijk, um, Trent Arnold, Robinson, Valverde, Henderson, Mane, Salah, Jota, you know, this brilliant, brilliant side, really is. And I'd imagine Ladies and gentlemen, it's match day. Really is. And I'd imagine they've got a few decent people on the bench to come off if needed. But here we are at Anfield. It's gonna be a very, very tough game in this one. Lot of fire, a lot of excitement over this one. First for second, and we could take quite a significant gap at the top of the table if we was to win this one. So, want to go out there and get the result here. See, there's going to be a lot of hype over this. And never walk alone on Liverpool and for Man, you know. This is Liverpool Football Club Anfield. I love all this build-up. Such a great, great part of the game. Like this build-up to these big, big games. Declan Rice looking very, very serious. What a player he has been for us. He's honestly one of my favourite players in this side. He is just so unreal in that position at CDM. He really does just boss the midfield. Liverpool fans obviously hyped for this, want to get a good result, try and get that Premier League title back off of us. Look at this, such a, such a good build up to it all, it really is. Hopefully they can do a bit more in the next one, just to add to the excitement of it all. But let's get into it now. Man United versus Liverpool at Anfield, let's get it done. Okay got to get our heads we do really well there now Sancho does really well oh and that's brilliantly played to Hakimi Hakimi now running the ball down the right oh he's got the pace can he get the ball across he does oh what a goal what a finish there <laughs> and I think that is Jaden Sancho with the finish what a goal Hakimi doing that one and that is an emphatic finish by Jaden Sancho and what a way to get ourselves off early in this game against it's Liverpool Anfield what a goal didn't actually think it gone in Akini did so well 
It's a lovely ball in and Sancho, that is a very, very tidy finish by him. Very close to the keeper, but it does very, very well. 1-0 after 19 minutes. Let's go out. Let's keep going like this. Oh, he does really well, but they do get the free kick on that one. They're going to knock the ball in here. Can we get the ball away? We don't. And that's 1-1. One, one. Oh, that is too easy. That is irritating. We did so well to get in front here. And that is just poor. Tried to head of the ball away. And it's just gone straight to Henderson. I don't... Do not understand what I'm supposed to do there. Like, tried to head of the ball. And is that Diego Jota getting in in front of everyone? That is ridiculous. And David De Gea is not stopping that one. 1-1 and that was not what we wanted to do here, not to let them get back in it so early. Oh, Bruno now. Bruno does really well. Sancho, the goal scorer, getting it back. Can he get it? Oh, he just can't get it all. Oh, we do get it back though now. Jaden Sancho, back to Bruno. Oh, that's a lovely ball. And again, Declan Rice does well. We're just holding it up here. And that's offside. That wasn't the ball I was looking for either, which is really irritating. Even more so annoying that he's offside because I had an easy one, really did. Oh, I've done well there. Now, Dion gets the ball back. And again, we're just playing the ball around nicely. Sees that run. Dion does well. Oh! Tried something there and that just did not pay off. Oh, he done really well. How did he not win that? Oh, he's got the better ball. And that's a great save by David De Gea there. Mo Salah coming in at the back post. Oh, we get the ball this time. Now De Jong. He's just going to run it. Sees that. Ah, oh, he don't get it over. Oh, and it's kept in. Now we're in trouble here. Oh, that's a great save by David De Gea. And there wasn't really much I could have done about that. Not much at all, really. Got to get the ball away, we do. Oh, he's done really well now. Oh, now we do get the ball out with Bruno. Plays it through to Ronaldo, and that is brilliantly played. Cristiano Ronaldo doesn't quite have the pace, but does have the shot at the end of it, and the keeper does really, really well there. Can we get this onto Ronaldo's head? He's trying to. De Jong here does well to Bruno. He's going to hit it. Oh, what a save by the goalkeeper. So good there. Going to play it short there to Sancho. De Jong opens his body up. What a goal. What a brilliant finish there by Frankie De Jong. Just Frankie De Jong. Just before half time, what a finish. And that is the goal that we really needed. We did deserve that one, and what a great finish that is. And our midfield players are really, really stepping up here. Frankie De Jong, that is an emphatic finish. Does well, that played the corner short. And it just opened his body up, and that is a tremendous finish over the top of the goalkeeper. 2 1, just at half time, and we should be going in here goal up here which will be very very useful there we go 2-1 going in the half time and what a first half so pleased with the team playing really well let's get into it okay guys second half 2-1 up just need to keep pushing for this victory now oh now we've got to be careful here oh and he's done really well now can he just hold him up and he doesn't that's a brilliant save by David De Gea Mane nearly getting in there 
done really well again defending extremely well see that runner Ronaldo oh and he's through Cristiano Ronaldo gonna hit it oh what a save by the keeper now we're in trouble gotta watch it here oh and that's just too easy and it's 2-2 two -two. oh emotional damn it oh just couldn't stop it i don't know why the keeper come running out there he just had to stay in the box trying to hold him up trying to block the passing lanes and oh what is that man what is that 2-2 two -two and Oh, everything to play for again in this game. And again, that was a good tackle. Didn't get the ball, though. Of course we didn't. Oh, and done really well to get onto that. Now. Plays it back. And again. Oh, and we're through. Aussie men. Get in there. What a goal. What a way to finish this. And we do steal the win after that. What a brilliant counter-attack and what a great move. Get in there. What a goal. And that is a huge, huge goal at Anfield. And the crowd are going absolutely crazy, the away fans there. Oh, I'm so happy with that. We deserve the win here. This is a brilliant move. Oh, what a goal. And Aussie men not missing from there. That is a brilliant finish. 3-2 and oh boy did we deserve that with this win here just need to keep it them away from the goal now and that's it getting there what a huge victory that is and that should push us a good good distance from liverpool now i think that's nine points happy with that let's keep going let's get through the rest of the december come on Okay then guys, after that tremendous win against Liverpool, what a game. We now got the other team on the other side of Merseyside and that is Everton. But I'm going to go ahead with the first team again, do a quick sim. Should have enough to get past them. I'm expecting a win and we got a 1-0 win. That was a lot closer than we thought. And Bruno yet again with another goal. He is on fire this season. Let's go. Okay then guys, so after that win we've now got this Carabao Cup game against Aston Villa obviously they're a very very decent side this is the quarter final so we want to keep going through this but I'm going to give the uh, reserve time this team another chance to go out there and prove their worth I'm going to go ahead quick sim it and we're going to get a 2-1 win get in there um, Cristiano Ronaldo and Adeyemi with the goals so that's very good to see they got one in the 88 but we go through to the semi-finals let's see what we got Alright then guys, so after that win in with um, the Cup quarterfinals, we now got Palace who are in 7th, so they've off to a very, very good start. We have a good start here with Bruno Fernandes up there in the top, uh, top goal scorers really. But I'm going to go ahead with the first team, do a quick sim, see what we can get done against this Palace side, and we get a 3-1 win, get in there. Ronaldo, Rashford and Ronaldo. So Ronaldo is back on it, let's do it. Okay then guys, so after another great win, we are... Basically, absolutely smashing the Premier League at the moment. Cristiano Ronaldo and Bruno, absolute great job. But they're going to get a rest in this game. I'm going to go ahead with the reserve side. They should be more than good enough to get past this Sheffield United side. And we're going to go ahead and get a 4-0 win. Get in there. Ronaldo coming off the bench. Rashford off the bench as well. And um, Diallo with the goals. But what a dominating performance. Let's keep going. Okay, guys, so I'm going to go ahead do an interesting little pre-contract signing for next season. And it is from Barcelona, and it is Ricky Puj. Um, just for it be interesting, like someone a bit different. He's only he's 23 uh, years old, 78 rated. Get him in on a free, like, can't mind about that. Prospect, he's happy with that, so get him in on that. Contract length, let's try and get him a bit longer. He wants free. Can we get him on at least four here? That's what we want. Yep, lovely. No release clause and 69 signing bonus. Can we get him down a bit? Do you reckon? Because he is only a prospect. 65 maybe. And uh, he's only 169. Fair enough. Let's go with that. There we go, guys. First signing of the deadline, and it's Ricky Pooge. And um, yeah, an interesting one for next year. Let's go. Okay, guys. I'm gonna do a very, very interesting sub, um, sort of transfer here, and. It is Haaland. Um, basically, I just want to see what this guy plays like. I've never used him in any 
game I've ever had. Like, I want to see how good this guy is. I swapped him plus Neves, who is very, very highly rated. Doesn't get a lot of game time, so I feel a bit sorry for him. Uh, plus him for 60 million. So, going to go ahead with it here. Crucial yet, five years, brilliant. Um, I know it's a mad one. Obviously, he's going to Man City in real life. But I want to go ahead, bring him in. 22 years old. I think he can help us push for um, Champions League, really. Uh, can we remove the bonus here and go with that? Do you reckon 270? Brilliant. Let's go with that. He can add the 2.4. Brilliant. Let's get into it. Let's do this. And we have got Haaland in, guys. Going to have a little change of the formation, but... This is a huge one. Can't wait to get in and play with him. It's going to be so much fun. Let's go. I feel very good. Okay then, guys. So going to go ahead, play this Leicester game now after that sign in the Haaland. And um, that's what the squad's looking like now. Looks absolutely like we got to get a Champions League this season. The team looks so good. But want to go ahead with the reserve side in this one because... You know what, this team is more than good enough for getting a result. Going to go ahead, do a quick sim against a struggling Leicester side. And we get a 2-2 draw. Not the best result, but I guess I'll take it. Ilanga and Bellingham with the goals. Let's keep moving. Okay then, guys. So basically, what I want to do is go ahead and play this game here in the Carabao Cup. We have got uh, Haaland starting his first game here. So I want to go ahead and see what he can get done in this. Quite excited about that. So let's go ahead and do it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's match day. Okay, guys, this is going to be a massive, massive game at Stamford Bridge. This is the semi-finals here of the Carabao Cup. And Haaland making his massive debut for Man United here. And I'm really excited to see what this guy can do because he is ridiculous. Such a talent in football at the moment and he's obviously going to Man City in real life we bring him to Man United in this save but excited to see what he can do next season in the Premier League I just don't see him not scoring goals in that in that Man City side it just seems impossible him and uh, obviously Darwin Nunes for Liverpool going to be a very very interesting one but there we are Carabao Cup signing finals want to get to another final get another win here let's do it Man United, Chelsea, Stamford Bridge. Let's get it done. Sees that run of Bruno. Going to get it in. De Jong, come on. What's a goal? Three minutes in. And we are 1 0 up. Frankie De Jong with a tremendous finish. That is just. <laughs> that is just beautifully, beautifully played by the team. And we are just showing how good we are, really are now. There we go. Lovely little ball in and brilliant finish. There we go. 1-0 up and Frankie De Jong four minutes in with the goal. Let's keep going. Oh, and that's great. Cristiano Ronaldo steals the ball. He's got to finish it. Get in there, does. What a finish. <laughs> and we've just stolen it here. There we go. And that is just poor defending by Chelsea. Just caught him out. Look at that. And Ronaldo just runs through. He's not missing it from there. And we are 2 0 up within, what, literally six minutes. Get in there. Let's go. Sees that run of Haaland. Haaland now. Can he get his goal? Oh, and he's just missed nearly his debut goal there. Thought that was in. That has to be so close there. Harry Maguire, no chance, and that's just skipping the post on the way through. Let's keep going. And we're just playing this one out. Bruno sees that ball through to Haaland. Haaland again, through on goal. Can he get it this time? Oh, he's hit the... What happened there? I barely put any uh, anything on that, and we've hit the crossbar with Haaland. Four, that was a definite goal. Oh, now we just trying to hold them up. And it's 2-1. Come on, man. Need some help. Trying to block off all of it. The shooting lane, the passing lanes, and they don't help you. And it's 2-1. And we sh that is just so irritating. We should be destroying this. Look, trying to block them off here with this 
the shooting lane and just goes too far. 2-1 and they're back in this. We just need to keep attacking like we have been. Oh, and they're getting down this wing again. Oh, and he does well. Plays it up. Done really well there. Now we get a bit of pay, get a bit of room. Plays it again and again. Oh, he tried to play it again, and we just, they just about get it away there. Get our head onto this one, De Jong. Oh, I tried to get it away. Now, Declan Rice chasing him. That's a brilliant tackle, and he goes straight back to one of their players. And again, a great block. Oh my god, and we can't get the ball away here. We've made so many great tackles, so many great blocks. And there we go. Finally, we get the ball out of play. We should not have had all of that. It just was not falling for us there. We need to get the ball away. We do. And that's really well away. They're chasing it. And we're going to keep chasing this ball down. We have Declan Rice. Oh, he nearly got him there. Oh, we've done really well with that in the end. Sees that run over the top to Ronaldo. Oh, Ronaldo's done so well, and he just can't ball the those through anymore. Oh, and we've done well there. Get the ball out. Now we're up. Dion. Plays it back. Oh, to Haaland. And what a goal. What a brilliant finish. And what skill. By I feel very good. Declan Rice. That is unreal. And there he is. Posing like he does. And he's got his debut goal there. And that is a brilliant finish. But what skill by Declan Rice here. Look at this. Oh, that is beautiful. And what a touch and a finish by Haaland. And we're free one up here. And boy, do we deserve this. Good to see this guy get off the mark as well. Let's basically get into half time now. See this game out in the second half. Let's finish them off in this first leg. Let's keep ourselves going here. Such a good half. So happy. Let's. Okay, guys. Second half. Um, free one up. Let's get this job done here. Oh, and that just flowing straight back to them. And that's a brilliant save by David Hare. Kept trying to switch players and it wouldn't switch to the player that was in front of the ball. Kept going for the one behind him. But we need to get this one away now. Can we get it away? We sort of do. And that is... Oh, that was, should have been easy for De Gea. What was that? Overhead kick from there. That's ridiculous. Let's get this ball away now. Can we get it away? we got to get it away. We do. Bringing it forward to Haaland. Haaland just going to hit it here. He sees the gap. Oh, what a save. Going to bring off Ronaldo here for Aussie men. Try and freshen the squad up a bit. They are looking tired. And have a great tackle. We do get the ball away. Oh, and he's done well. Now Bellingham's through. Jude Bellingham here. Just going to keep running. Going to hit it. Oh, Mendy. He is keeping this side in it because we are all over them here. Oh, he can't get his head. We've played unbelievably well. And oh, he touched that down. Thought he was going to be through. But a 3 1 win. And I am very, very happy that Haaland played very well. Good finish. Good goal. And um, yeah, let's get into this. Let's get into the next game. Keep ourselves moving. Okay, guys, so after that brilliant win against Chelsea in the semi-final with Haaland, we now have Norwich in the FA Cup. Going to go ahead with the reserve side here, get a quick sim done, 
should have more than enough to get past them and we're gonna get a yeah come on 4-1 win brilliant Adigami with two goals there Aussie men and Diallo with the goals happy with that let's keep going okay guys so we now got this game against Borough they are 20th in the league not a team that we are going to be playing or using the first team for so we're going to go ahead with the reserve side try and get a win should have more than enough to get past this side and we get a 2 0 win Aussie men with a double that's very nice to see good to see he's keeping up his good form let's keep going Okay guys, so after another great win, we now got this game against Newcastle. They are in fifth in this save, so they were obviously a bit of their money coming through. But we're going to go ahead with our first team here, try and get this win. I think we got more than enough to get past them, and we're going to get a 1-1 draw. Not really the result he's looking for, but Harlan with a goal, so that's nice to see. But we keep going, let's move. Okay guys, we have got a crazy, crazy offer going on here. I've got him up to nearly 200 million for Bruno Fernandes. Tempted to go for this and then go for someone like an Nkuku or can I get a bit more out of them though? That is the question. I want to get, can I get like 206 million out of them here? And he has, there you go guys. I think Bruno's gonna be leaving here now. Um, that's a crazy one and, but gonna go in for another big transfer of my own this move. All right then, guys, so while we see what happens with Bruno, we've got this game against Stevenage here. Going to go ahead with the reserve side. Shouldn't be any issues here. Should absolutely fly past them here. And we get a 4-2 win. Aussie men, Hakimi, Aussie men, and Adiemi. Very, very nice. Let's just get moving. Okay then, guys, so after selling Bruno Fernandes for over 200 million, I am looking at this guy to bring in now, and it is Nkuku. 88 rated, it's cost me 90 million pounds, but like only a couple ratings late, I think this guy's gonna grow a lot as well. Rumored with them in real life, so that's also an interesting one. No, a lot of you probably disappoint to see Bruno do, but he's done it. He's done very well for us, and we got like how can you turn down over 200 million for Bruno Fernandez? That is just crazy money. So let's just go ahead and offer him maybe. 150 let's go ahead with that see what he says yep he's happy with that kind of get rid of the appearance bonus there and there we go in cuckoo in so that was a big change quick change around there and but happy with that and let's keep moving Okay guys, so after that massive change round of uh, Bruno going out and Nkuku coming in, we now have Chelsea in the second leg. Want to go ahead with the first team, do a quick sim. Should have done enough in the first leg to see us through. And we get a 1-1 draw, happy with that. Haaland with another goal. And we get into the final. Okay then guys, after getting through to that final, we now have Wolves and basically this is uh, the last game we're going to play of this episode. Uh, but we should have more than enough with the first team to get past them and we're going to get a 2-2 draw. Not quite the result we wanted. Fred scoring against us, Haaland and Ronaldo with the goals. So happy with that. Let's keep moving. Okay then guys, that is the end of this episode. And as you can see in the next episode, we have this month and we got Champions League against Ajax. And we got the cup final against Spurs. So probably going to go ahead, quick sim that one, play this game. And then probably try play the second leg if we need to. And probably try and get the end of March done. Um, so pretty good there. Also guys we do have 130 million plus probably a bit more to be honest with the wage budget. So if there is any ideas you would like me to bring in to strengthen this team or to add to this team. Please leave in the comments down below. But uh, for now um, if you guys did enjoy the episode and... Uh, on during the series please smash that like button if you um, haven't already subscribe if you have uh, if you haven't already and also hit that notification bell so YouTube let you know when I upload these videos and also if you guys could check out all the stuff I said at the beginning of the video all the YouTubes and stuff I very very much appreciate it but for now that is me I'm Gamer Dad out cheers peace bye <laughs>